All right, so I have successfully converted my standard WordPress website to headless and I choose bedrock for this one. And yeah, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can migrate that into your um, shared hosting without using SSH. And we will be using a typical, simple way of uploading your WordPress website. And this is via file manager and we will be just zipping and unzipping your files. Okay, so in my case, I install a local flywheel, I, I install a local flywheel and um, import my WordPress into local flywheel and then I converted that WordPress into bedrock. If you want to learn or you want to see the, the prior video that is relevant to this, you can check on my link description below i have a tutorial on how you can install a composer and how you can also install a flywheel and a bedrock also so this will be the last version of like how you can migrate your bedrock to your hosting provider so if you go into the go site file manager if you use the flywheel you should be able to see two folders in here app for the WordPress where the WordPress is configured and confin is for your database and then logs is for the like if there's some errors but what we just need is basically the bedrock folder so under the bedrock folder if we open that these are like the structures we have a config folder um, where we need to set up so if we open that the bedrock in the config folder. This is more about setting up our um, directories and stuff. And yeah, I, we're gonna cover that later. So anyway, so we just need to import the files that is inside the bedrock, okay? So you need to um, zip the bedrock and then I already zipped that. And then you go into your hosting provider. In my, so in my case, I'm using Hostinger. Um, I really like this host a lot because it's not too expensive and their customer support as well is fast. They have a lot of like perks for as low as $3 and malware scanners. They also have an email. Their email is, I think it's Thunderbolt where you can also track the incoming and outgoing emails. Well, I really like for $3 per month is, is really a good deal for me. So yeah, so you go into your hosting and, and then you go to your file manager. And again, if you're using a different hosting provider, the UX might be different, but like you just need to find your file manager to upload your zip file. So go into the access of file manager, um, by the way, if you don't have a hosting provider yet, you can use my link description below to get a discount. So in most cases, once you already have into your file manager, in most cases, you will see a public underscore HTML. Okay, now you can now, now you can start importing your zip file, this one bedrock inside the root directory. Okay, so you put that over in there. Okay, then inside the public that HTML, you need to import this following um, files. So in the bedrock, you need to import the um, inside the web, this one. So this should be inside the public that HTML. And then the rest of this, the rest of this can be imported outside the public.html. So this one, you can remove the get and get ignore because that is for the, um, if you're using a terminal or CLI, um, you can remove that. I mean, exclude that into your, into your imports, but this is like normally the basic like structure so there is a config folder and then there is also a vendor folder this standard wp thing is for my um because i want to import as well my plugins that's why i extracted my backup. up but i can just you know remove this one but in most cases you have three folders in here you have a config folder 
and then you have the pu the public HTML, and then you have a vendor. Okay. Now, once you already imported your folders in here, you need to replace. So under that, um, again, this folders, these files can be found on the on the web folder in Bedrock, and then. Once everything is already imported, you go into your ENV file where your database sit. Um, so you open that and actually what you need to do first is you create your database into your hosting provider. So in my case, I already created and these are like the password and then you change, you change the name, the user, and your database password. And then what is the prefix that you use? If in most cases, if you already have an existing WordPress, it might be WPU or two, depends on you. So double check what is your da database prefix. And then um, WebP, and then this one as well. You need to make sure should be public that HTML you replace that and then what is your um, site URL it needs to be replaced and then your VP um, home as well and then you save it once you already save that you go in to your to your database and then on your database you need to import your your database that you have configured into your local um, flywheel. And on my case, if I click that one, then I go in here um, and then go into the import. You just need to import the that SQL. So you just need to click this one and then import your existing database. Okay, so once you've already imported your existing database, for sure, if you've already done some posts into your database, you should be able to see something like, um, let's type in post in here. So for example, this one, I have 1000 something results. So these are all the posts that I have. But if it's just a fresh website, then just disregard that part. <laughs> so yeah, so you need to import your database in the new database that you created into your hosting um, provider. And then once you've already updated your .env, you go back to your, you go to your config folder and inside the config folder, you should able to see the application that dot PHP. Now you click on the edit part and then you need to change the, then you need to change the web root directory to public .html. So earlier it is dot slash web before, so you need to change that. Okay. And then Sometimes as well, when you play, we when you open your WordPress website, it will give you an error like a composer dependent needs to be um, PHP like version something eight or or eight point one. This is because maybe on your local computer you have set up your PHP version into eight point one, and then in your hosting provider you choose 7.4. So make sure that your database match to your hosting database. And that can be found um, by going in, in here. Um, actually, it should be, you should able to see that into your, into your advanced and then PHP configuration. So I was having problem earlier, like I cannot make the website work because the version of my database in the hosting provider is 7.4. And then on my local computer, on my local flywheel, I set it up for 8.1. So make sure they are match and I already changed it to 8.1 and then update that. And it should look like this i mean you shouldn't have any problem now yeah so that's how 
it works and again if you have any question let me know comment down below happy to assist you